Hi, and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm trying to use text-to-speech program. I cloned my own voice, but the program tuned my voice a bit. It sounds lower than it really is. And program makes my speech sound not so natural. Leave a comment down below. Do you like programs speaking with my voice or text on the screen? Like usual. This is FX Dreamline Bottle Adapter slash First Regulator Housing with Filler Probe and Pressure Gauge. This is FX Maverick Second Regulator Housing. First, we need to plug this hole with a screw. It's a bit long and it is protruding for about 2 millimeters, so I have to shorten it a bit. I'm using M3 by 8 mm screw. Let's go to my workshop. We have a nice winter in Estonia, as you can see. I'm using bench grinder to grind off two millimeters of that screw. <coughs> Sorry about that shaking picture. Let's go back inside, through that nice wintry weather. A few moments later Grinder left some burrs at the end of the screw. I have to remove the burrs with file.
Now the screw fits nicely and the screw head sits flush with the regulator housing. To lock the screw in place, I'm using medium thread locking compound. Next, I'm installing second regulator. For that, I'm using Huma Air third generation regulator for FX Impact, Dreamline, Wildcat, Maverick, all fitting instructions you can find at Huma Air website. These are Bellevue Springs. It is high pressure set for setting regulator pressure between 100 and 200 bar. For correct order of stacking these springs, refer to fitting instructions. How I stack them, you can see on the screen. Now that the regulator is fully assembled, I can put it into regulator housing. But before that, I need to fit an O-ring in the regulator body. Second regulator is installed and the second regulator assembly is ready. Now I can continue to work with first regulator. At the moment I'm using FX original amp regulator with Delian piston, but I want to upgrade that. I'm going to install Huma Air Brass Piston and High Pressure Bellevue Spring Washer set to the first regulator. As always, we start with the disassembly. To get the regulator out of the housing, you need to first remove regulator pressure set screw. Then you are able to unscrew the regulator.
Somehow I was lucky that the whole regulator assembly came out from the housing. Usually regulator piston remains in its place inside the housing and you need special tool to get the piston out. I wanted to show you the difference between original amp regulator Bellevue spring thickness and Huma Air extra high pressure spring thickness. One is 0.4 millimeters and Huma Air springs are 0.6 millimeters. There is a slight problem to fit new brass piston into the old regulator body. This Huma Air piston is 0.1 mm bigger in diameter, so I have to machine it smaller. I did the machining off the camera. I wrapped electrical tape around piston skirt and just put the piston in drill chuck and used 240 grit sandpaper and scotch bright to finish it off. It did the job and finishing of the piston came out smoother than it was before. But the regulator is out and in pieces. I also changed this little o-ring inside the regulator body.
Now I can start put things back together. First I connect first and second regulator bodies. The gun is not pressurized and I can take it apart. I'm going to remove air cylinder and we'll replace it with regulator assembly that you saw earlier. I changed my mind a bit and I'm going to install FX Dreamline. 17 CCS power plenum between first and second regulator. That will give me some extra length for mounting barrel band for extra barrel support. Now, let's continue putting the gun back together.
next step is to screw on air bottle and pressurize the system and start adjusting the first regulator pressure. To set the first regulator pressure, you have to fully open second regulator before pressurizing the system. Then you are able to see first regulator pressure from regulator pressure gauge. Take a 2.5 mm Allen key and start opening first regulator. Turn it counterclockwise slowly and read the pressure from regulator pressure gauge. Stop when you see the pressure you wanted. Mine is set to 170 bars. It is good to set pressures so that the pressure difference between first and second regulator is 30 to 40 bars. I set mine 170 bars first regulator and 130 bars second regulator. To set second regulator, you have to degas the gun. That you can do just unscrewing air bottle and dry firing the gun till regulators release the pressure and gun will drain from air. After the gun is pressurized, you can start adjusting the second regulator. Take flathead screwdriver and start opening second regulator set screw slowly. Read the second regulator pressure from pressure gauge and stop opening the regulator about 20 bars before desired pressure. Then dry fire the gun couple of shots and adjust if necessary. I set mine at 110 bars to give some room for fine tuning with ammo. It's all set to go and test the settings. If you are interested how this gun performed before, go watch the video I linked in the description and is shown in the end screen. Feel free to comment and go watch my other videos as well.